Happening today, some positive news for all of us feeling the pinch at the pump. All right, we need some positive news, right? Some relief for high gas prices may soon be on the way for drivers here in Connecticut because today the state legislature could pass emergency legislation that would suspend the state's 25 cents per gallon tax on gas. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Marcy Jones is live at the state capitol this morning. Marcy, if this passes today, would this go into effect immediately? Good morning. Well, I know that's what most everybody wants to hear, but as the ladies of Wilson Phillips are famous for saying, you might need to hold on for one more day and then some because relief might not come as soon as you'd like. A three month holiday is how this could feel for Connecticut drivers if and when lawmakers 25 cent a gallon gas tax is approved. It will run from April 1st until June 30th and already has bipartisan support. So when could Connecticut drivers see relief? Some stations it might be a few days, some it might be more than a week. It's pretty simple the way that he put it, but basically if you live in a more rural area where that gas station doesn't have a high volume of customers, then you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for them to go through that taxable gas. So try and go to one that's a little bit more popular. Live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Marcy. Great song reference there, by the way. 504, now Channel 3 wants to help you save a little bit more at the pump. So here's a look at some of the lowest prices in our state right now. According to Gas Buddy, the Noble Gas Station on Main Street in Hartford has prices as low as 388 this morning. Not too bad compared to yesterday. The Gulf on Hartford Road in Manchester will run you 394 a gallon, and the cheapest place to fill up in South Windsor is right at the Costco on Tamarack Avenue for 395 a gallon. You can find a list of the 10 lowest prices across the state right now on the Channel 3 app or you can visit our website wfsb.com.